And it'll... Don't like it, I don't like it, don't like it, I don't like it. I don't like this. Okay. I turn around and I swear to God, if I turn around... Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't. I don't know why I put myself through this. I don't like it. What's going on, this Johnny, and welcome to Ghost of Tomorrow. This is an updated version of the game we played last year called Ghost of Tomorrow. So we're gonna see what we can get into with this one. I think this is like an, this is an, a totally updated. So woke up after a few minutes of sleep. I wonder what time it is. I don't know. Check your watch. Check the check the clock on the on the on the wall. Check the clock on your on the alarm clock. Uh, check phone maybe. Okay, phone. 9.30 p.m. Why are you waking up at 9.30 p.m. for, sir? I don't remember much about this game. I do remember... Oh. Okay, hello? If you could not... Oh, man, we're starting off super strong. Oh, great, great. All right, love, love you, mom. Or, all right, love you, mom. Amanda, are you coming home next week? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days, and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Now, if I remember this correctly, I think we got murderized. Literally murderized. I got freaking big old fee, huh? Okay. Where the game begin? It's dark. Go in there. It's dark in here, too. Turn the lights on. Oh, I instantly got a flashlight, huh? Hey, sink. You could just not do that. That'd be great. Okay. Hey. Enough. Wait, that's too dark for me. I don't want to go down there. Itch. Got a little knifey knife. A nice apartment to be honest like they got they be living life out here that's a small fridge though real tiny uh you must not eat a lot that's okay though we'll figure it out i gotta go lights yep need that lights on need them on so i can see okay locked no running that's great i right, kind of just leave nope right i don't understand i don't know what i gotta do Got the goosebumps. Okay. Hi. Missing person. Amanda Graham. Last seen outside Harvey Wayne University on August 23rd wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Brown eyes, dark hair, 5'7, 120 pounds, age 24. Kinda cute. He kinda cute. And uh Who's crying? I don't, I don't remember this game at all. I played it. I know I did. Gosh, hello? Are you okay? Can't go in there. You're just gonna deal. You can just cry it out. Get them, get them cries out. I get it. I've been there. And it'll don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. What is happening? What's happening? What? I like it! Okay, I just, I don't, I don't want to be in this game anymore. Okay, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, my body's freaking out, I'm in panic mode, I have anxiety. I don't like it. Okay, we get it. Okay, we understand. Get me out of here. Go, go, go. I can't run, thank I'm not gonna get chased. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't want to go in there. I don't. I don't want to go in there at all. Who did that? Who, hello? What was that? No, 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 no. Don't close that. The monster's in here. 
Missing student body found stabbed by roommate. Body found in roommate's room. A man of grim, a 24-year-old master's degree student who was missing since August 23rd, was found brutally stabbed and killed. Amanda Graham's roommate, 25-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested after police found Amanda's body in Rogers' bedroom. Amanda was majoring in film while living in two bedrooms in a shared apartment with Rogers, who was also majoring in film near Harvard University campus. Nope. There's a freaking blood! Ah! I like it! You're starting off super strong. The person down there. I don't want to go down there. I don't like it. I don't like this. Okay. If I turn around, and I swear to God, if I turn around. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't. I don't know why I put myself through this. I don't like it. Let me go in here. Okay. I'll go in here. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Refuse. Oh my God! There's more. No way. Nope. Hey. Okay. Guess I gotta keep going down the, the hallway, huh? I'm gonna open all these doors. I don't care about you ghosts. I really don't. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't understand what I have to do. What do I gotta do? Do I need to go in one? Okay, uh... Okay. I'm thinking we have to go in certain rooms and the room will unveil something. So since there's rooms down here and we can't see them, I'm thinking we went to the one on the left, this one. Let's go in here. No? That's not the one I want? Go here and let's go this one. Hmm. that about okay so something happened i just did something i don't see any of the doors are open so i don't understand <gasps> right there a living memory oh my god a living memory of Amanda Graham, 1995 2019 hey i don't know i don't know what's happening Okay. Oh, there's a freaking so confused blood on this one. No! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. I don't like it. Don't like it. But now what do I do? I can't open these doors. Going here, maybe? Oh my gosh. The trial of Gail Rogers, also an exclusive interview with Mrs. Graham on the trial. The trial of Gail Mrs. Red Ro okay, hello. The trial of Gail Rogers over the murder of Amanda Graham has been has begun. The defendant, Gail Rogers, has pleaded not guilty to the murder charges and has claimed that the homicide of Amanda Graham was an act of self-defense. He got the silver Harold, we had an interview with the victim's mother, Martha Graham, to share some of the thoughts on the trail. I am baffled that the only thing Gail can say after murdering my daughter is that it was an act of self-defense. My daughter is incapable of harming anyone in any way. If anything, it was probably the other way around. She was acting in self-defense for that monster, that coward, his body of my daughter. Okay, so I just read the entire thing, and it said that um, she had a... A schizophrenia ran in the in the family, so she's thinking maybe she got it too. 
Okay, so what other doors can we open? We can open everything else, but is there like a certain one we gotta go through? I don't really understand. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Gail Rogers was found guilty in murder of Amanda Graham. Gail Rogers was found guilty for first degree murder of Amanda Graham and for hiding her corpse and will be sentenced to 25 years in prison. Mr. Rogers testified that Amanda died on August 23rd for around 11.15 but did not confirm that he murdered her. Instead, he claimed that he took her life in self-defense. One of the prosecutors spoke with the Silver Herald Press and shared some information about the case. Police found a laptop with writings of Mr. Rogers uh, that were used as evidence of the murder. In the writings, Rogers talks about how he felt alienated by society and lonely, but Amanda was one of the few people he enjoyed being around. He wrote about her in a lot, including a mentioning how he was in love with her too, to the point of obsession. After Amanda rejected him over the obsessive ways, he wrote about his anger and jealousy of her. This explains why he murdered her. He was a lonely outcast with mental and emotional problems who was angered by a rejection. Martha Graham commented on the trial also i'm glad just justice is served for my daughter after being asked about what she will do now with her life martha graham responded i'm not certain what future lies ahead of me but like i always told my daughter life is a set of doors that will lead to you or lead you to different paths and whatever path i find myself in was because of my choice and no fate will determine my path after having been through all this tragedy i will choose a path of peace and happiness i'm thinking this is what this is it's like I'm thinking that maybe this is just me going through the things to get closure. Okay, so that's not. So all, every door becomes bloody. I gotta run through all of these. Right? Not really for sure, to be honest. Maybe I gotta do that one last. Or this one. What? I can't go. I don't like this game, man. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like how this thing makes me feel. Go to this one. It says, "Yeah, time slip theory." Throughout history, people have reported experiencing the time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or a group of people travel back in the time through supernatural ways, <coughs> not technological like a time machine. Maybe even travel back in time accidentally. Why does this happen? Because time is not linear as we as we perceive it. Time is fluid, not fixed, but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was a cop and he was out of service while shopping with his wife. Then they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store and his wife went to Dylan's bookshop. As Frank walks toward the, the store, a small 1950s box van with the name Kaplan's, oh my God, on the side cross in front of him while honking the horn. Uh, Frank did look down to his feet and realized that he was standing in the middle of the road. He then crossed the road and he saw that Dylan, Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips si signage. Shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around and Frank realized that the people around the street were also dressed in the fashions from the 1950s. But bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse in the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank allowed the woman into the store and the store turned back into a bookstore. She told him, Frank, she too had thought the store was a closed shop. He did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both the 1950s and 1996. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actually local businesses from the Liverpool during the 1950s. These experiences are real and people may not believe it, but that's how the universe works. In mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. Unknown universe. Okay. I don't understand what I gotta do though. I can't grab that. I can't grab it. Okay. Oh. What a different one. Different one? Stop the madness. Okay, last couple doors. My god, this is such a really good, really good game. Okay. Last doors on the right hand. Actually, there's two more in the darkness. I forgot about that too. 
going to go this one. Okay. Last ones. Yo, those can bring us to here. So really, you just had to find the doorways uh, that per made you proceed or progress. Completely quiet now. Like that. That's uh, not good for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. To be continued? Oh my god, really? Alright guys, this was Ghost of Tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This game was actually good. I want more games like this. Please. Polished, actual, decent vid video games. So this, again, was Ghost of Tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed it, do the YouTube stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.